Welcome back, you are watching Sliced Lime and this is our beginner's command block tutorial series. This is a small device we created last time, which is a simple command block with a say command in it and the way to trigger it. Now that we know how to trigger command blocks, let's start doing something useful with them. The first thing that we are going to look at is how to make command blocks affect the world, so setting blocks in certain places. For instance, I am now standing at 32, 67, 258. So let's change this command. We're going to use a set block command, and it's set block in one word without spaces. 32, 67, 257. Stone. It's the most basic version, and I press the button. It says block placed, and right next to me is a stone block. So I can use that to place whatever blocks I want wherever I want in the world. Now there are more things to this command and you can actually do slash set block in the chat window and just hit enter. Don't uh, place anything after it and it will tell you how to use this command. So it says set block XYZ tile name data value alt block handling data tag and all of these things are enclosed in brackets of different kinds. So if you look at the set block XYZ tile name you see that they are surrounded with these uh, arrow markers, less than, greater than sign. Anything that is written like this has to be input in a command for the command to work. Anything within brackets is an optional value. So, as you noted, we used a command that was set block 32 67 257 stone. So that is set block x y z tile name. So what could we do more? We could do data value all block handling data tag. So let's try a data value first. Let's just put one and let's see what happens. Uh, I can place a button on it like that. And you see that this block changed. It's still stone block, but it's a different kind of stone. It's one of the new kinds of stone, right? And those are implemented using different data values, and you can find the data values on the Minecraft wiki for all the blocks, and they're quite complex data values sometimes. Let's switch it back to our normal stone block, and let's try out the next thing. The next thing was... Let's look at that again. Old block handling. So what is that? Well, one page that you will want to get very familiar with on the Minecraft wiki is the commands wiki page that lists all the commands and all the options for all the commands and everything you need to know. Here's what that page has to say about old block handling. It says old block handling, optional, specifies how to handle the block change. Must be one of destroy, keep and replace. So the values mean this. Destroy, the old block drops both itself and its content as if destroyed by a player. Place the appropriate block breaking noise. Keep means only air blocks will be changed, non-air blocks will be kept. And replace means the old block drops neither itself nor any contents, place no sound. If not specified, defaults to replace. So what we've been doing this far is using replace. Let's try using destroy instead. Hit the button and we see that the block that was there broke and it threw out this block. So that's the difference between the various values that you can put in all block handling. And then there's one more value called a data tag, and it's a fairly complex topic that we'll be getting into in a future tutorial. But be aware that there is a data tag value there as well. You might see set block commands on the forums, on the Reddit, and wherever, where there's a whole bunch of stuff coming after the old block handling. So now you know how to set blocks in the world and where to go to find more information about the commands you're using. Next time we'll go into how to set more than one block at a time. Thank you for watching. See you later.